It seems like we are always getting bombarded with the latest health fads, but how much truth is behind these health fads? Here's one example. Taking a daily multivitamin. I had one today. Did it matter? Well, research from Johns Hopkins Medicine shows that vitamin and mineral supplements do not reduce the risk of heart disease, cancer, or mental decline. Instead, researchers are pointing to a healthy diet being better for your body. Joining us now to dispel some more health truths and myths that we've heard over the years is Steve Perrine, the executive editor for AARP Magazine. Thank you for joining us, Steve. Good morning. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks for having me. All right, so here's one, 10,000 steps a day. That's also something that I try to do. What's the science on this? Do you need 10,000 well, steps a day? Hey, 10,000 would be great, but science shows that about five to 6,000 you do definitely need to walk during the day, but you don't need quite as much. Five to 6,000 steps, which is a couple miles a day, that's all you really need to cut your risk of early death by 50 to 60%. We all want to cut our risk of early death, hopefully. Uh, another one is eight glasses of water a day. That's only 64 ounces, but there are bottles that show you, hey, you've had your 64 ounces or not. So what have you found in the research as far as that goes? Uh, we found that this is a great marketing gimmick, but there's no evidence whatsoever that there's a magic number for how much water you should take in. There's, there's no science at all behind it. Uh, we get water from everything we drink, from the fruits and vegetables that we eat. Typically, as we get older, our ability to sense when we're thirsty is diminished. So it is important to be conscious and to be drinking water, but there's not a set number that you need to be aiming for. I see. Just make sure you're not thirsty. Uh, that's that's a pretty good rule of thumb there. Uh, this is one I didn't think about. I, I know I have my own preference. The healthiest way to dry your hands. I definitely prefer to have a paper towel and to make sure my yes. hands are dry as opposed to waiting for a minute and hoping that the automatic dryer actually senses your hands. Uh, is one of these healthier than another? Yeah, well, uh, technology isn't always an improvement and the air dryers um, simply don't, are, simply aren't as hygienic as regular paper towels. They leave our hands wet and they can actually spread germs by blowing them around in the air. All right, my last question to you is, I don't know if this is an old wives tale, if this is a myth or if this is true. I've always thought it to be true, but what do I know? Uh, going outside with no coat and wet hair, is that going to be more likely to make you get a cold? Well, the reality is that colds come from viruses. They don't come from, uh, you know, magic um, uh, issues in the air. Magic that sartorial when the air is cold, combinations. You get a cold. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so no. Going outside with wet hair, wet, um, as long as you stay away from people who are sniffling and sneezing, you'll be fine. That makes a lot of sense to me. That's Steve Perrine making a lot of sense for AARP Magazine. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.